Hey, welcome back. I'm Andrew with Taviso Sports with another Running Insight. And today, I'm going to teach you a little trick to make you run a lot faster. Now, speed work is something people talk about a lot, and it often doesn't really mean anything because there are different types of speed work. And I suppose speed work is anything that is that you do that is faster than your race pace. But there's speed endurance. You can be doing interval sessions, you can do fart leg sessions, you can do straight sprinting sessions. Um, if you're training for a marathon and you run the park run as a time trial, so you're doing a 5k at 5k race pace, that's some kind of speed work. All those traditional types of training, those traditional sessions, speed work sessions, are really, really hard and take a day or two to recover from properly. They push your anaerobic threshold, they you test your tolerance to coping with lactic acid buildup and they're emotionally draining and physically and mentally really hard. So this little session that I'm going to explain to you today is almost like a trick and it will get you to run faster in your target distance without having to be any fitter than you are at the moment or any faster fundamentally than you are at the moment. It's almost a hack. So this session is very specifically aimed at making you more comfortable running at your target race pace. Okay, I'm not trying to make you fitter or stronger so that you can cope with suffering at that pace. I want to help you learn to not suffer at that pace. And not suffering at your target pace is about efficiency and comfort and rhythm. Now you can develop those without having to go and bust your gut or push your heart rate up to 185 beats a minute. Let's use a 5k as an example and let's say your target is a 25 minute 5k. It could be a 20, it could be a 30, the, the, the principle is the same. You're aiming for a 25 minute 5k. 5 minutes a k is your target pace. Let's say your current PB is 27 which is... Well, 524 yes so you need to improve by 24 seconds a k what i want to teach you to do is to run smoothly at a higher speed than you've been used to okay now you can't do that if you're doing interval sessions and running yourself to exhaustion so what i'm going to get you doing in this session is say your target pace is five minutes a k we're going to run at four minutes a k or maybe 415 but for very, very short distances, not enough to get you completely out of breath. So if you can cope with running that pace for say 1K, we're gonna do it for about 400 meters. Okay, that's it. A minute, minute and a half, that's it. You'll barely be out of breath and you're going to stop and you're gonna have a proper rest and then you're gonna do it again and then you're gonna do it again. And if you do that 10 times, you've actually run 4Ks at 4 minutes 15 a k and it hasn't hurt and if you do something like that at least once a week you'll build up the mileage running at a speed that is way faster than your target pace for your 5k but you will not be suffering at that speed so your body will learn to comfortably cope with that speed and your neuromuscular system will be adapted, the coordination will be there, the rhythm will be there, and you will be relaxed. And if you are relaxed enough, and you do those sessions without doing them for too long, and you're relaxed when you do them, suddenly running at five minutes a K will be one of the easiest things you've ever done. Okay, that was quite fast. I'm barely out of breath, I'm not even sweating. That's really good training because if I go and do a 5k race, I'm going to be aiming for a good half a minute a k slower than that. So when I'm used to that, I'm going to go and run that time trial. Enjoy your running, run fast, run easy. Right, let's hope that gets you running a bit faster. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please click like if you think this worked for you and feel free to send me an email. Here's my email address. Any questions at all, I'll be happy to answer them.